Good morning everyone, and this is another Italy video. Today we'll be playing as the Communist Branch. Now this is an intro, uh, we'll do the thing from the start in a minute. I just want to show you why would you want to play the Italians as Communists, aside from the obvious achievement thing. Well, there's probably lots of good reasons, but I believe this may be the strongest Italy yet out there. First of all, let's have a look at our glorious leader here. Antonio Gramsci, who gets political power gains, stability gains, surrender limit, well, I don't care, research speed, and daily compliance gain. That means when you start ballooning and getting lots of uh, new territories, they just get compliance so much faster, and it's really a game changer. This guy is awesome. The other thing that's also totally awesome with Italy as communist is that you have access to a sixth research slot. Now I'm not saying that Paradox intended for this, it's hidden somewhere in the focus tree and I'll show you where eventually. It does seem like they just put in an extra one and forgot to code in that you can only have five. Doesn't matter. And some of the national spirits are also very nice. And you get a shit ton of spies without... I don't think I have a lucid gentleman. There's just so many spy slots in that focus tree for the communists. It's amazing. So, without further, further ado, let's get cracking. Today we'll be playing as Italy in the communist route. There is an achievement associated with that, and that's not all that difficult. I'm also going to try and get some conquering done, but um, my test runs all failed. I'm just going to try something different, and if that doesn't work, I'll just uh, leave the failure to see for you all. And you'll at least see me get the achievement. Well, I already got it, but I'll show you how to get it. Now, the Italian Communist branch is over here on the left side of the Triumph in Africa. You've, if you're not looking for it, you're probably constantly overlooking it. You have to fail in Ethiopia to decently get her. Um, I mean, you can go for the Fai de Duce with, uh, with Triumph in Africa, but it's a lot of work. The easiest way is to just fail in Ethiopia and unite the opposition. The achievement uh, associated uh, means you have to liberate Gramsci with this focus and do that before January 1st 1937 because then he dies. You have to put him in charge with a leader steps forward and uh, the tooltip isn't very clear on that. You also have to complete this focus where you rename um, Italy to the Italian National Union. If you do those focuses you have the achievement. What are we going to do? Oh, we're going to withdraw from Ethiopia, so we have to keep busy with something else. And we'll do Italian highways. Research-wise, we'll start with electronics and industry, because we will have a little bit of build-up time. But we will also need to prepare for war. That means we will also build military factories over here in the northern region. Just a few um, after the civil war is over, we will start building in our better regions again. I'd like to set up my equipment production as follows. Here we are, three factories with a few future ones on anti-air, four on artillery, those are new production lines, 10 on infantry equipment, and we can add some more later. And this will do, I've made Free factories on support equipment, and that's barely enough. I've deleted the planes, and I will finish the ships that are building. I'm also going to create an intelligence agency. I'm going to set garrisons to max priority and set them to local police force. That's still insufficient in the long run, but we'll get there later. And now we have to uh, deal with this mess here. Select all the forces in north of Ethiopia. Right click on the Masawa and just let them walk there. Select all the southern troops here. Let them all go to Magadiscio and press Ctrl B to railroad them. One or two might be attacked along the way, but um, we can handle that. Now this is of the, is, and here timing is essential, so just keep an eye on these guys. Especially this one here might be attacked, so just right click again and you see the arrow turn black, then it will force retreat. You don't want these guys finishing their battles, that will take too long. 
speed is low and keep an eye on your political power here. At 15 political power we need to do something right away. These guys are here, select them all and just put them on a port in Italy. Let's go home boys. And the same can be done here, except these guys withdrew to the wrong territory. Here we are. Right click, and we almost have 15 political power when we can do withdraw from Ethiopia. Pause game, do that immediately. If you don't, you get the mission from Mussolini to pacify Ethiopia, uh, win those battles. And you're not going to do that, so that's more debuffs for you. Withdraw from Ethiopia, there we go. Ethiopia accepts Italian peace offer. Well, peace, we totally withdrew here. And you can choose between uh, two options. That basically means choosing between an Abyssinian fiasco and struggle in Ethiopia. We need to go this way, so we need a change of leadership. White peace, Abyssinian fiasco, and pretty soon we can go for unite the opposition. War logistics is, of course, bypassed. Now let's organize the army, put everything in an army, and set them on a fallback line from Milano to the tile beneath Venezia and above Ferrara. If you click states, you can see that those are the top four states that we are going to end up with later on. Italian highways is done and we'll unite the opposition immediately. We have more than 50 political power and 30 command power, and I'm going to get the Army Organization Specialist. A fun thing I like to do is to use him as a general and level him up to level 4, I think, so he becomes uh, better at organizing. But now he will give us some well-needed experience. Unite the opposition is done, and we can either organize strikes in the north or do the southern farmlands. I prefer strikes in the north. That's where my troops are. There are several reasons to like the north more. The focus is slightly better, and being here at the start of the Civil War allows you to uh, rush for Genova and La Spezia, so you can cut off the east here. And also there is a beautiful focus that allows you to acquire old weaponry here in Toscana, and we're very, very close to it already now. Organized strikes in the north is done. We'll liberate Gramsci before we forget. And that's Gramsci liberated. Let's defy the Duce and get going. Now you can, of course, delay your civil war a bit so you can delete your army, send your stuff to uh, Nationalist Spain or Republican Spain, and then get it all back. That's a trick I know, but this time we'll just do it without the trick. This civil war is not that hard. We have quite a bit of political power, and there's quite a few guys out here that are interesting. This silent workhorse requires you to be fascist, so that will be a very short-term uh, solution. I like getting this one here, political power gain, 10%, research speed and daily communist support. Not that much, but uh, it'll be f more than enough. Later on we can get the uh, Marxist fundamentalist for 15% stability and daily communism support. And don't forget about this guy. We need to do a few more focuses, but 15% political power gain and more communism support. We won't be lacking for political power. Just uh, about now, when the war goal is about to finish, there's one more thing we need to do. Your deadline for this is about June 15. So go to Yugoslavia and justify a war goal. I have no idea if this is a very good idea or a very bad idea. Um, going into war with Yugoslavia will, uh, at this time, will call in France. If you don't capitulate France quickly enough, they will join the Allies. So I'm really getting my head into deep trouble here. And here we are. The fight of is done. Um, let's speed down a bit. Embrace the people's revolution. This is the democracy path. We pause the game immediately again using the spacebar and will appeal to the bourgeoisie. The other focus, that's temporary, and that's uh, to the right of it here. Seize old equipment, just look at this. Add technology, armored train, add technology, railway gun, create four railway guns. 
the rest is just gravy but getting four railway guns for free that would ordinarily take you like two years to build is just awesome we have 16 units remaining of the originals we got five new uh, of these militias just add them to the army delete the fallback line and set a new order just uh, set it here my advice is don't use the arrow it's just for planning bonus as for generals i'd like to go with this guy here where is he mario vercellino because he's an infantry expert uh, and he's slightly less ugly than this guy we got some army experience and we will hope he will level up with attack and as a field marshal we can just go with uh, mario ricci here what you want to do is manually move all these units into enemy territory and most specifically here towards Genova so we can cut off the other Italy's troops here oh, I misclicked I only assigned these five new divisions to these front lines I was wondering where everyone is being ordered to that's the first encirclement, and we are busy here. Um, I'll wait for the rest of the troops to arrive to really get going, but what, what, what I want to do here is just um, cut off pieces of it Italy and encircle troops. So here I'm going for this tile, and then for this tile. Meanwhile, I have to take care that none of these troops get out of here. <clears throat> so you have to pin these guys whenever you get the chance. And now that the encirclement is complete, uh, kill all the troops in Livorno. And that's Livorno done. So we assign everyone. And get cracking. Appeal to the bourgeoisie is done. Uh, we don't control the region yet to seize all the equipment, so we'll do the Italian Republic first. Should be able to get the other uh, region soon enough. Alright, and another encirclement. The Italian Republic is done, and we can now seize all the equipment. And here is seize all the equipment, railway guns, armored trains. Uh, we need to uh, occupy ourselves before we can go on here. So we'll just do army primacy. Here are beautiful four railway guns, and we'll just add them to our main army. Now please, the uh, big victory point we still need, Taranto and Brindisi are here, and we should be done in a moment. And here we are, Repubblica Sociale Italiana has been annexed, and we are now the Italian Union. And we are still justifying for Yugoslavia, a little more than 100 days left, so that's um, a tight timetable. We are wasting a lot of equipment on occupation, so we're going to release Eritrea, Libya, and Somali Sultanate. We do that now, because now they become communist puppets, and that's a little better. And that's army primacy, extra factories. We'll do a bandits war a little later, we'll have to take a look here at what's really necessary. The popular front, leader steps forward, and Garibaldi Legion at least. We don't have much time, so we'll have to make the best of it. We'll also go to War Economy. Popular Front is done, and we will do a Leader Steps Forward. Leadership of the Republic. Antonio Gramsci is the right course here for the achievement, but also because he will become a very good leader. Yeah, this is good. This is Good. We'll start with the Garibaldi Legion because we need to do that while the Spanish Civil War is going on. Hey, French guarantee is gone. I thought I had that one calculated. Oh well, then we're not going up against France, we're going against Yugoslavia and Romania. And Czechoslovakia, it seems. Can I reach these guys? 
Well, eventually I will. Yeah, the original plan did not work, so we'll just go for um, a war on the east. Um, and declare war on Yugoslavia. Let's see if they attack me first. I haven't really got my organization back, but we're all right. All right, here you can see what the railway gun is actually doing. I'm hovering over the defense value of the enemy. Railway gun bombardment minus 10%. So that's um, quite a hefty debuff. Let's get a war goal against the Germans. That'll help. We'll get that later, maybe. And here we are. I'm going to puppet Yugoslavia. And take their fleet. Josip Brotito. Let's get our troops on the border with Romania. Now Romania, through this side, is a tough nut to crack. I'll try to go for immediate encirclements again, but at least keep an eye on this river crossing. Getting across the river is essential. We made it across the river, and now we have to stay there. Keep an eye on the supply routes. They are, well, here. We are also at war with the Czechs. That's going to be more of a problem, but we'll see about that later. Going to take a slight detour here for a bandit's war. We broke through here. Let's proceed. Well, we also pin these guys. And here we are. First encirclement of the Romanians. And it's a nice one to start. And it's war is done. Supercito will take some time longer. I'd like to get army leaders now that we are fighting. Should have gotten it sooner, but there's just so much to get. Made a major breakthrough here on the northern front. Don't forget to actually kill the old encirclements. And a breakthrough in the south. Romania's gone. And that's Romania. Um, I'm going to puppet these guys as well. And take their fleets. Whatever factories I'm building, I'm going to build them inside puppet territory. And lower their autonomy. Now, of course, for the Czechs, that's going to be a tall order, so we'll just... Um, I have to deal with them the old-fashioned way, give them a very big area to push into, and then we'll cut them off at the top here. In fact, I'll put the entire main army on the side here, and put this reserve army down here. Did my railway gun just get captured? Looks like it did, right? Come on, get out of here. Right, retreating is not a good thing with railway guns. <laughs> He's just going into enemy territory. He wants to be destroyed. Now, it looks like I lost two of my railway guns. I can't find the other ones. I know I lost this one here, but where's the fourth one? Why isn't there a button, find my railway guns? I mean, if you're producing them, they should end up somewhere, right? And here he goes again, come on. No, 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 no. All right, we broke through. Let's make it count. And that's pretty much the entire Czech army cut off. There's always a few troops in the, on the top here, but um, let's find out. Can I just get my railway gun back this way? 
I did. I got my railway gun back. Now I want the fourth one. Where is it? I'll probably end up somewhere. It's like losing your keys. You know you left them somewhere, but God knows where. We're ready to snake victory points here. I'm just going to leave these troops. Um, might be able to grab some of their equipment. And here we are. Czechoslovakia is also ours. I must say, I didn't really count on getting this far in this game. So I'm a bit curious what to do with the Czechs. I might puppet them and then they'll give up Sudetenland most likely. If I annex them. I'll have to fight the Germans for it, but I kind of want to do that anyway. The Italian Union. Alright. <laughs> well, better get our defenses ready then. Here I am again, at the end of our conquest of Yugoslavia, Romania and Czechoslovakia. The game and the recording will continue with the conquest of... I don't know. It pretty much looks like most of the civilized world, right? Yeah, well, it's a spoiler warning. Things are going to go very well. And I'll make a quick time-lapse video of the rest of the conquests. I can really recommend this Italian monster. Well, I hope you enjoy. Have fun.